Hey everyone. In a previous video, we went over how to enter a rental transaction into the service program and then also how to get deliveries, services, and pickups onto the route schedule. So in the desktop software here, we're going to go ahead and click the route schedule icon along the top toolbar. And as you can see, we have some weekly services, uh, a delivery, and a pickup as well on our route schedule. At this point, we need to talk about how to sync this information to the mobile application. And then we'll go over how to complete a stop on the mobile application. So the first thing that we need to do is click the Sync Mobile Devices button. Once we click that button, that will open up this screen right here. We have a drop down. It says select option. And there's a few options that uh, we could potentially sync. Now, typically, you're going to get into the habit of performing a sync all. And when you perform a sync all, that's going to sync all of the pertinent information in the system, such as customers, items, rentals, routes, route tickets, tasks, and so forth. We can be more specific with what we're syncing. So we've added route stops to our route schedule. We could absolutely select routes and then click sync. Now we're not going to sit through a sync in today's video. I have already synced with the mobile application. So we can go ahead and open up the mobile application at this point and sign in, and then we'll go over your field technician's process. So I have the mobile application open here. I'm going to sign in to the mobile app. And that will bring us to our home screen here. Now, as you can see, we are route based. So we have stops assigned to us right here under today's stops. If you were task-based and you had tasks created in the desktop software and assigned to a user for today's date, they would appear right here, which we do not have any. Today we're going to go over how to complete service stops, uh, how to complete a delivery, and how to complete pickups. So for the most part, your field technicians are going to be able to see what they have on their schedule for the day, but they're going to operate out of the actual route schedule. So along the bottom, toolbar here on the mobile app, we can click Routes and then select Schedule. Well, today's April 9th, so from the drop down here, I can select the 9th. You'll notice that I also am given the option for the 8th and the 10th. That is because I also have stops on my schedule for those dates. Now, your technicians in the field will typically be able to see a week's worth of stops because you're more than likely going to be advancing your route schedule forward on a weekly basis. And in a previous video, we covered that. This is a good thing because that means if we miss a stop for whatever reason, we can always navigate back to the day prior to complete a service ticket. So we have April 9th selected here. And it looks like I have three stops on my schedule, uh, the first being Barry Allen. And we can see that this is assigned to Joe. That's who I'm logged in as. The frequency is delivery. So we know that this is a delivery that we're doing. And that's stop number one. And again, these stops will appear in order of stop number. Um, and we'll, in, a, in a following video, we'll talk about how to use the mapping system to put your stops in the most efficient order. If you are part of the portable toilet industry, the process for completing a stop is very simple. And that's typically because your guys out in the field are going to have lots of toilets that they need to service. We want to keep their life uh, as easy as possible. 
So we just have to head to our schedule here, and then we're going to tap onto this Actions button. When we tap onto that Actions button, we'll be given a few options here, but the only one that we need to focus on is the second option that says Quick Complete. We're going to go ahead and tap Quick Complete. When we do that, the system is basically creating a route ticket in the background and completing it. And the only information that that ticket includes is the time that we tapped onto that Quick Complete button. So we know that our delivery has been completed. And you'll notice that this stop went from gray to blue to signify that it's been done. So that's how your guy in the field knows what's been done. As you can see, we have a stop from the day prior on our schedule that we did not complete, which is why it's still gray. So our second stop here for John Doe, the frequency is weekly, so we know that this is a weekly service. We also have some notes here that we input on the route schedule in the route notes field just a reminder to restock toilet paper. So all of that is, is present to your field technician right from this screen. Same process, all we need to do is select Actions and then click Quick Complete. At this point, we can head back to the Service Program Desktop software. And we can perform a sync of route tickets. And again, a sync all will encompass route tickets. This can be done at the end of the day. But if we go ahead and sync route tickets, we'll give the system a minute here to complete this sync. and it says complete. Now I can head to route info along the top toolbar and then route ticket list. And as you can see, we have a route ticket for John Doe, which we completed at four o'clock. And we also have a route ticket for Barry Allen, which we completed at 359. In a following video, we're gonna talk about some reports that you can run to keep track of what stops have been completed throughout the day.